there is a moment when you have to choose whether to be silent or to stand up. Tonight, Malala remains in intensive care. She was shot in the head for daring to suggest girls should go to school. On the day when I was attacked, uh, the intention of the terrorist was to stop me, but they did not realize I'm not a lone voice. Now I'm many. Thank you so much. Thank you. They shot me on the left side of my head. They thought that the bullet would silence us. I am the same Malala. When uh, the project was brought to me, my first instinct, which is usually the thing that drives how I make a movie, is, oh, this is a father-daughter story. It'd be very easy to make it about bad guys with beards and guns. And I was drawn to this idea of a father's love for a daughter and this extraordinary girl who does extraordinary things. And what if I made a film that my own children would be inspired by? I chose the title because it has a mystery to it, which you really won't discover until you see the film. But part of the mystery is what is the nature of this relationship? How she was named? Why he chose that name for her? This was a real deep passion in my heart when I was naming my daughter that yes, she will have a role, she will have a life, she will have a recognition, she will have an identity. When I go and speak around the world, I do not speak for myself, but I'm speaking up for all girls who are deprived of education. I feel like I'm their voice and I'm speaking on, on their behalf. What's amazing as you watch this movie is the story gets even more inspiring. Even maybe more remarkable is her fearlessness coming out of the shooting. Rather than leaving her uh, scarred emotionally in any way, it did seem to just make her more positive. She is utterly fearless. And I don't even think those questions in her mind. I think that she has an intuitive sense of why she is on this world, what she's supposed to be doing, and she's going to do it. You know, her getting shot and recovering is one thing, but the act of bravery that she and her father made day after day, speaking out for the things that they believed in, is really inspiring not just for her father and her daughter and her family in that region, it's inspiring to me and my family here in the United States. The first message this documentary gives, it tells that a girl's courage, a girl's resilience can challenge all those human atrocities, not with war, not with arms, with patience and peace. And our voices are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen, they can change the world. Malala made a choice to risk her life, to speak out for what she believes in. You know, if, if there are other girls and other boys, and other fathers and other mothers spoke out because they're inspired by this movie, that would be special.